It's now time for you to learn how to taxi your aircraft. Taxiing just meaning the aircraft is moving under its own power. So once you have clearance, then you are allowed to move your aircraft about in the vicinity of the airport or to the runner bay if you are gonna take off. So let's say we are on the apron, we wanna go towards the runner bay for takeoff. How will we proceed? So we started up, have our clearance, and then our, as always, our aircraft idles at 1000 RPM. So before we get into the main taxing, you need to have a look at your rudder pedals quickly. The top part of your rudder pedals, this is your tow brakes. It actually does the differential braking on the aircraft, allowing you to turn. Whereas the bottom part of your rudders, this just controls the rudders. We mainly try and turn the aircraft with the rudders and then if the turn becomes a little bit too steep then you apply a little bit of toe brakes as required. And please do not leave your feet on, a, on the brakes as we do not want to ride on the brakes as they say. This just wears out your disc brakes and can also just heat up the disc brakes where the eventually the aircraft can start fires. So always place your heels firmly on the ground with the toe of your, the tips of your shoes just touching the rudder pedals. Okay, so now we've got a clearance. Let's taxi to the run-up bay. What you're gonna do? You're first gonna apply toe brakes, all to your toe brakes, as at the bottom. Then you are gonna disengage your park brake. From here. You might add a little bit of power to get your aircraft started. If you are on a level field, never use more than 1300 RPM. If you're using more than 1300 RPM, that just means your feet is actually on the brakes. So what we're going to do here, we are now going to release the brakes. The aircraft is going to move a little bit forward. We're going to reduce the throttle to idle and apply brakes to come to a full stop. This is just for us to actually see and test if the brakes are working. Once we brought an aircraft to a stop or slow down, we'll put the RPM back on 1000 RPM. So this is the lesson of today. Don't have RPM and then actually break the aircraft. Reduce your throttle to idle, break the aircraft, and then once you are happy with the speed or brought the aircraft to complete a full stop, then set your throttle back for 1000 RPM. Fantastic, let's get moving. So now I'm leaving the brakes, then we need to intercept this yellow line. So you need to actually try and figure out, anticipate which arc you are gonna use to intercept a yellow line. So this is what people or students needs to get used to. If the aircraft moves a little bit fast, reduce the power to idle, gently apply a bit of brakes, bring the aircraft to a slower speed, and then you can actually apply back to 1000 RPM. In this case, it is a downhill, so I'm reducing the power, applying a bit of brakes, just to get the aircraft slow down and we are now going to do what's called the right turn. I want you now to focus on the actual turn coordinator as well as my DI. This is how we actually test our instrument. So the DI in the right turn is actually increasing. The wings is to the right and also the ball is out to the left of the turn and slip indicator. So now you can see it's a bit of an uphill. I am on about 1000 RPM, but it's not enough. So now I can just add a little bit more RPM until my aircraft has momentum and bring the power back to 1000 RPM. Now the trick to stay on a yellow line is for you to actually have the yellow line cross through your right knee and look in a distance. Don't look right here because then you're gonna end up actually taxing like a crab where you are going left and right of the yellow line like this so look in the distance keep that yellow line passing through your right knee and you will then be perfect so now we are going to a downhill reducing the power belt 
bit of brakes for speed and then we'll move it back to 1000 rpm so that's basically the taxi that you're gonna do and to test so we've tested only if we are moving the aircraft to the right but what happens to the instruments if we move to the left let's see i'm first gonna taxi a bit out to the right then i'm gonna apply left rudder so now look at, for me at the di and turn coordinator so i'm applying left rudder compass decrease wings to the left ball goes out to the right apply right rudder compass and di increases wings to the right ball is out to the left and that's your taxi checks right there stay on the yellow line and remember 1000 rpm see you for that next lesson